Yeah, like a back system, like a reverse half button. Okay, sweet. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Okay. Teach me grappling. Megan Portuccio, please stand up. Well, the real Megan is pretty That's right. All right. This is Eddie Diaz, everybody. We're going to bring you another Switch video. We were just doing Switch. Eddie's done the Switch before. He's a Switch master, but... He's, he's still developing a switch, but the other day I was making him do the switch everywhere. Like when he was sparring with everybody, guys, he's a brown belt. When you guys spar with like lower belts, you're going with a, if you're a brown belt, you're going with a blue belt. Why are you beating him with, with stuff that you're already good at? So try to work on the things you're not so good at. So I was telling Eddie, I was like, Eddie, do the switch. Eddie, do the switch everywhere. Sometimes that's what I do to get better, guys. I just like pick a move, like say a Kimura, and then I go, I'm gonna do a Kimura every single second of this roll, I'm gonna do a Kimura. Every time I do a Kimura, if it fails, the guy gets out, the next thing I'm doing is just looking to latch onto a new Kimura, just so I can learn. So this is something you can do with the switch. I'm gonna show you the switch entry off the back step or reverse half guard. He's on his back. Okay, so check this out. We're in half guard. Um, it's very popular nowadays to, to back step into the leg locks, into 411, honey hole, saddle, inside Senkaku, whatever you call it. So it, it's very common. You know, I have this knee out. We're looking to engage into a guard pass right here, but the guy may swim in underhook. And, and guys are stepping back, getting into this position, attacking the legs. When I go into this position, I'm not gonna attack the legs right now. Of course, I know a lot of you guys, you're into today's world of jujitsu. This is the hot topic. Try to back step and get into the leg lock system. But when I'm in this position, a lot of times a guy will wrap up my waist. And if a guy does wrap my waist and I end up in this back step like this, um, and we end up here, if you ever end up here and you're rolling, you wanna know this next technique. So a lot of times you're gonna see this kind of under, underhook control of the leg. Because I can't underhook his arm, you underhook the leg. And then the real simple idea is, I want to scoot back, step on his leg, escape this one. See that? It's not that easy. You know, it's going to be a little ch challenge. But once I escape, I can put the guy on his back and then get him to side control. Mm -hmm. Okay? So this is a common thing. There's a lot more to this because right now the way I'm showing it, my right elbow is on this side. This can be very dangerous. It's also possible that his arm could come up here and go for a lock. And if he bridges, you could end up in this position and then you're gonna run into it on triangle. So you guys see how that can get real dangerous. So I don't recommend putting my elbow here. So when I'm in this position, I'll bring my elbow in front of his neck if he tries to lock my neck. I'll break the grips and then I can choose to go under his neck. I can choose to bring it inside this armpit and then step back and try to knee slice and come through. So. I'm just kind of laying the ground for how this position looks, so how, the, how this all gets set up. So once I'm in this half guard position, again, I'm here, he's got my ankle, we're, we're playing here, I'm gonna back step. When I go into this position, I'm gonna come under his arm, or his neck right here, and then go ahead, bring your arm under my arm. Under, no, no arm. Arm. yes. See, now, some of the, the problems here is that if a guy's real good with butterfly hooks, he's gonna put a, a reverse butterfly. And you see how that, like he's very, he's very flexible. Go ahead, go back to, uh, he was able to just put it in. A lot of times you guys are gonna have to like hip escape and then he can put the hook. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. Now, if he put, go ahead, do that. If he puts the hook, he could lift the hook. And then now I'm off balance. You guys see this, how he stays attached to me and he can come on top and sweep me. And he's got a great outstanding position right here. So when you come back, you know, I don't, I don't want this to happen, okay? When, when we're in this position, uh, in this reverse half guard, I don't want this to happen. If he ever brings his arm across, I'm gonna take a different approach. My left hand, I'm gonna be posting on his leg like this so that when he's trying to make his play, you see how, uh, also, this way, I have a base, okay? I have a base, I'm just kind of floating right here, keeping my, my pressure here. 
Now, if he's trying to hip escape and make that play, I'm really trying to avoid this hook. He may get it anyway near my ankle, you know, as I'm here. That's fine. Now watch what I'm gonna do. If he tries at all to try to like come up on top, I'm gonna take this arm out and then place in the switch, okay? So now go ahead and start to sweep me. I'm gonna put my hand inside and go for the switch. Now once I end up here, guys, this gets really dangerous, okay? Once I do this, if you have a slick person, it's very possible for him to just sit out and go towards my back. See that? And then this is where the switch is gonna get you killed. So the guy's gonna, no, no, do, do that. And then he's gonna throw his hooks in, both, and my arm is stuck. Whether he puts it in or if he keeps a trap behind the back, all this is really good for him. So, so far it looks really terrible, right? But the more you educate yourself on the switch, the more you're gonna know how to win this position, okay? So I'm trying to pass the guard and he's playing in the half guard, I'm dropping in. You see him pummel the underhook right there? I'm gonna back step and I'm gonna get into this position, you see? Now, as I'm in this position, you see him trying to get this, this leg here. Go ahead, start to try. You see how like I'm pushing this leg away and because he's going around my waist, if he ever goes around my waist, I'm gonna put my hand inside for the switch. I'm already preemptively switching. I don't want him to slide underneath me. I'm always gonna stop him from doing that. I'm gonna keep my body here. I wanna be swept. So as the guy tries to sweep and come on top, I'm gonna hip escape. I'm gonna keep pressure on his shoulder. If I keep ample pressure on his shoulder, you see how hard it is to scoot behind me? Yeah. You see all that, that pressure I have? Now, once I'm here, I'm like turning towards him. I'm gonna come back towards the legs. Obviously this arm that's left hanging could get kamarred. You guys gotta watch out for every single technique. You know, if, if he's in this position, I'm probably gonna step over the head and then take an arm bar of sorts. That's probably what I would do there. There's so much flow. There's so much flow to this. It's gonna go weave in and out of a bunch of stuff. So that's why I'm showing a bunch of stuff. It looks real messy, but I have to show it because if you do this, you're gonna run into so many different avenues that you're gonna get confused. It's like, a cra it's like learning a, uh, a map, but there's so many roads and streets and side streets and back alleys that you're gonna get lost. So, but if you know what you're looking at, you know how to navigate. So I'm here, I'm trying to pass. You see, I'm dealing with a knee shell, and then now he popped the knee shell out. Why does he do that? He wants to come up from my back. Let's say I were to back step, and we end up here. See, I'm in this position. Look at my toe over here. And he, you know, he chose to put an arm around my waist. If he puts an arm around my waist, even though he's already got the hook, you see that, that's fine. I'm gonna bring my arm inside, my elbow inside. Now if he tries, I put my hand inside here, this is the switch arm. As he tries, I'm gonna be putting pressure and now I'm attacking the switch. As I come back up on top, I'm gonna look for his back. Let's not do Kamara right now. We'll just say, as I go for his back, guys, of course he may try to roll back to guard. He may try something. This is the time for you guys to like increase your pressure and get your guard pass now and get your better position. So remember, we're trying to pass the guard. Passing the guard is a complicated thing so for some people, especially at high levels. You know, you're dealing with these funky guys with the crazy legs like Eddie, and, and, and it's tough, it's not easy. So as I'm leg dragging, I'm moving, we end up into the half guard, and so I'm trying to pummel, he's trying to pummel. He doesn't want me to get the underhook. I hit the back step, and we end up in this position. You see how my right arm is under his neck? If he comes up here, I can't do the switch. If he comes up here, I can't do it, okay? So if I'm here, I, I want to use this underhook. See right here? Right. So if, if, if you try to bridge and roll from here, yeah, I, I want, go ahead. You see, like, I want to get this underhook. Yeah. I want to hip ice and get this leg back out. And you see, I want to be here. So a lot of times in the back step, you'll start to sense that. If you go around my neck, if, 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 if uh, the proper way to do this for you mm -hmm. is actually to be more flat on your back. Contrary to what half guard, um, what am I trying to say? Like, what most people say about half guard, people say be on your side. Mm -hmm. With reverse half guard, you don't wanna be on your side. You wanna be flat on your back. Because if you're, if you're on your side, your hook is lost. Like this hook, yeah. it goes away. See, like try to hold that hook. See how it like broke off? Yeah. Now scoot and scoot under me. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, because now, you see, like, I can't like take my leg off now. You see that? Mm -hmm. The more you're on your back. But remember, guys, the more the more he's on his back, if he's on his back, like I can come up and jam my hand inside, and now he's got to worry about. See, how I got I snatched the underhook, and then I can slide through. That's an awesome series right there. So there's there's a lot going on. He pummels underhook. I back step. Maybe I go oh, back. Oh, I just came right back. See that? And you come back to the underhook. I'm just showing that game right there. And then now once I'm here, if this arm comes here, boom, I put the switch in. See the arm here? I'm already waiting for him. If he tries to sweep me right here, I still got his arm. Yeah. And I put him in the switch. Remember, it's still very possible if you don't put proper pressure, he's a scooter on the back. That's really possible. Yeah. You get got, it's Eddie's the guy that's gonna do it. He's gonna hit it on people. If you wanna beat Eddie, and guys like Eddie, it feels like this. Go. Yeah. Scoot around my back. Yeah. See that? Will you switch your arm? Yeah. Now, in, out of this scramble, you guys, you got to get the top position. So I've got the switch. His arm is here. Is it possible to try to submit him? Yes, it's possible, but not realistic. He's probably going to roll his arm when he feels uncomfortable, and you're going to come up to here. And again, right now I have a waist grip. I would love to go to a seat belt. If I go to the waist and I lock my hands, I like to lock with an S grip. If the guy twists or rolls to guard, I smash. So if you guys hear, I smash him. Uh, See how I way. don't let you? Yeah. And then now, as I break you down, I'm gonna work into side control so I can get a better position right here. So, okay? So here, you wanna, you wanna try a little bit? Let's have you try it. So we're playing right here. I'm just playing a basic half guard, mm -hmm. okay? And you start going, and I go under hook, mm -hmm. and you back step. Now, if you ever run into the guy who goes up here, right. this is a different guy. Mm -hmm. Remember, I'm giving you an under hook right here. Yeah. You know, kind of like that. Now, so if I'm here and I'm trying to play, it's really hard for me to like finish this. Right. You see how you're scooting away? Yeah. That's really good. I now, now it's exactly, exactly, and now you get into your different kind of passing. What we drill in. Yes, what we drill. Don't show him, don't show him, don't show him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so we're here. So we're, we're, we're here, I play here. You back step, right? This time we got this underhook because he wants to play like this. He wants to play here. Right. Now, put the switch in now with your right hand. Beautiful. Now, as I try to sweep you, see, I want this arm on my trying to sweep, boom, you just switch me, right. and now you're right. taking my back. Right. Okay? That is like sick. that, huh? I love that. So if you're good with the switch, like you are, Eddie, Switching. just backstep people. Just backstep them constantly. Anytime you get a guy wrapping arm around a waist, that's what you want. You want that arm around the waist. Yeah. Yes. See? Come on top. Come on top. I, I go here. You go there, right? Yeah. See my arm around the waist? I don't want this. I want to hit the skip and come to the side. You're already you already put it in. Yes, put it in. Now, some guys don't even use hooks. Some guys just use like power. They just try to lock and go, and then you'll just switch them. Yeah. Okay. Other guys are crafty. They get use the hooks. Put enough pressure on them. And, and, and there is like, there is more. I'll probably do on another video because this one's already crazy long. I'll probably do the next situation will be like, what do you do when you have a jiu-jitsu guy who stays on their side? Because some guys do. But for right now, this switch video is gonna end with the, the guy gets to his knees. He goes to his knees. So, so one, one last time. Yeah, so here's what I mean. When, when I'm playing here and I'm trying to win, but you're coming in and I decide to back step. And if I get this position, you see how like, I already put the switch in right now. I don't let you scoot under me. Try to scoot under my body. Yeah, see? And now I'm going to try to break that hook off. Right. Okay? Now I, you go to your knees because you want to come on top. Now you see, there's the switch. Now I'm breaking his arm right here. That's what makes him have to roll his hand. And then you come up. And then it's up to you guys how you want to go from here. If you want to go crucifix, if you want to do whatever else. I know Megan likes crucifix. I like that. All right. I think we did it. Do we get a thumbs up, Megan? Okay, we do. Thank you guys so much. Teach me grappling. I will smash you later. Megan, stop, stop. So, <laughs> click the link down below at Patreon and PayPal. Contribute to this channel. 
and I'll be back for more with more great stuff later. Thank you. I'm sweet. He. Dude, that was sweet. Thank I you. think that a lot. Yeah. I'm serious. What do you think? Megan, what do you think? Megan, what do you think? This is great. Megan, what do you think? Like a movie. <laughs>